Hello, it's me, Laura, and we are going to read Psalms chapter 9. I enjoy the Psalms. I also enjoy the Proverbs, and I think Book of Ruth and Esther are also good books, but we're going to read Psalms. We've got a ways to go. We're only on chapter 9. So anyways, here we go. I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will show forth all my mar all thy marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O Most High. When mine enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish at thy presence. For thou hast maintained my right and my cause. Thou saddest in thy throne judging right. Thou hast rebuked the heathen. Thou hast destroyed the wicked. Thou hast put out their name forever and ever. O thou enemy, destructions are come to a perpetual end. And thou hast destroyed cities. Their memorial is perished with them. But the Lord shall endure forever. He hath prepared his throne for judgment. And he shall judge the world in righteousness. He shall minister judgment to the people in uprightness. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Lord, hast not forsaken them that seek thee. Sing praises to the Lord, which dwelleth in Zion. Declare among the people his doings. When he maketh inquisition for blood, he remembereth them. He forgetteth not the cry of the humble. Have mercy upon me, O Lord. Consider my trouble, which I suffer at them that hateth me. Thou that lifteth me up from the gates of death that I may show forth all thy praise in the gates of the daughter of Zion. I will rejoice in thy salvation. The heathen are sunk down in the pit that they made, in the net which they hid in their own foot taken. The Lord is known by the judgment which he executeth. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. The wicked shall be turned into hell, and the nations that forgot forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectations of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord, let not man prevail. Let the heathen be judged in thy sight. Put forth in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be men. Thank you for spending time with me today in reading Psalms 9. I appreciate you being part of my life and spending time with me in reading the Bible. I wish you blessings sent. Blessings are sent to you. And have a great day. Talk to you soon, and I look forward to seeing you for Psalms chapter 10.